April 8, 2024. Three more days before the total solar eclipse. From a bridge collapsing from an earthquake in Taiwan. Hopefully there everybody's going doing well now. And now an earthquake in New York. Eclipses are not auspicious for humans, but it is a natural occurrence. Nothing to be fearful of. However, we're vulnerable. We're made of flesh. We're not rocks. You know? So this is not an auspicious time for humans. Okay? Now, how about we see what your reading is about? Confused, paranoid, unable to figure things out. Things in your life just becomes more intense and every day is just like, I don't really understand anymore. You're sitting there contemplating. You're not in a panic, which is good. But there's a lot of things that is being shown to you that you're kind of overwhelmed. Let's see. Capricorn. Now, I was at the store, if you're not familiar, I have a jewelry store here in LA. Oh, and we shipped, we packed, we sent, but then I decided to say, okay, let me extend it through the weekend because of what all these things, you know, that is happening right now. And I went to the store and I got this. This is a peacock feather for protection. No animals was hurt, okay? It comes now your kit. So I'm going to make a kit out of your solar eclipse, uh, total solar eclipse. This is the protection bracelet with evil eye, real golden obsidian. When you get your zodiac pee out today. I am in a rush because I decided last minute. Okay? You guys know me. I record here every day. I went to the store. It's like, okay, let me come up with something. Some grounding crystals. A peacock feather because I use that for protection. And of course this one. So today only though because again, the eclipse is in the 8th. Actually, I'm, push, I'm stretching myself like with my schedule. So I'll tag in the corner of this video. Okay. All this is for protection. You can't attract, attract, manifest, manifest without protection. So that's like riding a car without a windshield and no uh, seat belt. Yeah, you know, and you drive the nicest car, you see. The Seven of Cups is here because the Capricorns are trying to figure out their life. Because they have been talking. Who are you talking to? Mercury retrograde. Is it your mom, your spouse also? A lot of decision also about a moving out, a relocation. A lot of um, quarrels at home, I see that here. Hmm. I see that there is uh, some sort of health issues that's coming about. Be careful also. Some fights at the office. Someone is jealous of you. Mm -hmm. Mars aspect the six, but it's supposed to be good. But it's in a uh, it's aspecting a Gem Gemini, which is your sixth house, and Mars and Mercury does not go well together. Because Mars doesn't want to think. Be careful what you say at work. Some of them are not really liking how your speech is. Oh, just be careful. You can be an angel, and they're still gonna ha hate you. Trust me on that. Now you have a lot of desire projects that I'm seeing here that you will start a venture in the next coming four to six months. Just take it slow. Uh, meaning don't go dive deep right away, you know, relocation, moving an apartment, not auspicious. Wait until after, after May, much better. Dating life will improve after May. So we got to be more conservative, a little bit, a little bit. Can you handle that? Okay, the difference of my read here, I do talk about specific dates because I do see the grahas and the planet in the chart and I can guide you, Okay. So someone has been talking to you, but they definitely have options. I can see that. When they want you, they want you, and you know they're like they're like a ghost. You know, well I don't know. I never encountered. You know, let's not encounter a ghost right now, okay? But the way I see this is more about you have someone who has been in and out of your life, okay? And you're just definitely not understanding what did I what did I do? You know, what did I do is what you're saying. Six of Wands and a Page of Swords. What did you do? You have a ten of ones here. You're just focused on your work. You have a lot of responsibility. Okay. Don't worry about the flickering light. It's just a, a collector for the trash. Okay. The ten of ones is here. So focused at work. Someone keeps trying to disturb you. Okay. It's, it feels like you're perfecting a skill right there. You're sitting there with the seven of cups trying to align the T's. 
someone has been stalking you also. Hmm. There are good things coming. You have a Celestial of Swords and an Ace of Swords. Sorry, Celestial Weaver. You're manifesting something great. But, th but there is an obstacle here. If it's like a person. A person who's not really liking you. And you know it. Well, not that they don't like you. They're just causing so much... Let's just say... Mm, you tried, you tried, you got rejected. Then they, when they reject you, and then you don't want it now, and then now they're back. And then now you're starting all over because you're ready to embrace this. When Jupiter goes to your fifth house, it's going to be an amazing time. It's going to be a, the time where the Capricorn meets someone good, meets someone that can be in for a long-term partnership. Jupiter in the fifth house. Jupiter is the Karka for the fifth. We want Jupiter in the fifth for you. You understand me? Okay? You're already dealing with your Sadisati if you're a moon in Capricorn, so that's stressful, Right? You're already suffering from Saturn in the second house because of, you know, either family has betrayed you, your money has been fluctuating. Jupiter, the Graha, the most benefic, is a time that will save you from all the stress. Good times are coming. Wheel of Fortune is here. Some crystals just don't work with your sign. If you're tired that your crystals are not working the way that you would like to, well, I'm a crystal expert and I made specific double Piao crystal bracelet just for your sign. Get yours right now at eTreatLove.me. And here's the thing, right? Wheel of Fortune is coming, Ace of Wands, but it takes for you to take a leap of faith. Six of Wands and Ace of Wands. I feel like you're, you're about to take a chance, okay? And what is a good crystal for Jupiter? Mm. Besides, ooh, something's about to change in your life. Besides Yellow Sapphire. Ooh, relationship, I told you. Of course, it's going to be Citrine right here. Mm -hmm. So I chose Citrine for you guys and of course the Smoky Quartz. If I have Smoky Quartz by my door, why wouldn't you wear one? That's how important it is for me. So this is a double PR. When you get this today, you get this of course, right? I'm extending a little bit because of the, you know, everybody's asking. Um, I'm not complaining. It's like, it's okay. I, you know, I'm fine with it. Um, the Evil Eye, real gold for protection also with Obsidian. And today only... I, I made a kit especially because of just how urgent it is of people asking what can they get, you know, for protection. It's like, okay, I'll just make it, okay? This is the peacock feather. There's a whole class on how to use it. I will share with you guys when you get this, okay? It's free shipping in the U.S. We ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. Mm -hmm. So, let's see here. The Hierophant, the Wheel of Fortune, you're about to establish a partnership long term. Long term. Now, someone was eclipsed out of your life with, with the past lunar eclipse, last 25th of April, March, prior to that, okay? Now, the solar eclipse is happening in your third house, which means the birth of this desire. I want something, but I don't know what it is. So tell me, Sal, what is it? And if it's going to be good for me, it's going to be good for you if it's new. But majority of the people, of course, has a deep attachment you know, to certain people. So I'm not sure if you have let go because they're asking you to let go with the Ace of Wands, to uproot yourself, to move, to relocate, meet someone new. But not everybody wants to hear that, of course. Mm -hmm. Since Mercury is retrograde, the number one question is my ex is going to come back. Mm. Wheel of Fortune, someone might come back. Huh, huh. Don't don't let anyone borrow money. There's a water sign who's gonna talk to you, who's gonna, you know, make you feel smitten. Okay, I'm saying it here. Five Pentacles, water water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. Um, Five Pentacles. If someone is left behind in the past, they're asking you to keep it behind you and never look back. More suffering will come if you look back. Okay. I feel like it was dysfunctional. It wasn't giving you respect, value. Five Pentacles for the Seven of Cups. You were, let's just say, you were a giver and they were a taker. The stars are aligning you to something great. Something that you've never experienced before. The star and the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing. They're asking you to manifest now. Sooner than later. Because for me, as above, so below. So astrologically, the star is there, is there right? And then the Wheel of Fortune... Okay, it's going to come down here, and then you're about to, to bring these good things. Luck, opportunity, wishes being fulfilled. 
who is in charge of the Capricorn's, uh, how do you call this, dreams and desire? Mars. Because Mars rules your 11th house, which is Scorpio. So, very occultist. So, you can definitely manifest through gemstones because Mars is a karaka for gemstones. Okay? But right now, Mars is still with Saturn, so there is that restriction. So, Mars 18 degrees and then 20 degrees Saturn. When Mars moves with Rahu, but a little bit chaotic, but we want Mars in the Dustana house also, which only means that it's more favorable for you to manifest, like right now, yes, but when Mars is out of the second and into the third, I'd rather have that. Okay? But be careful. You might have some arguments with your sibling. Okay? Yes. So be careful with that. But the stars in the Wheel of Fortune, this is it, Capricorn. This is it. You're embarking on something new. I always uh, pick up something good with the Capricorn. But for whatever reason, not everybody likes a positive read. I don't know. They like, you know... They like sad reading. I know there was something sad, but life is good now. It's about to be turning around. You have Jupiter now, you know, going to your fifth. The hope. Okay? And again, Citrine. And of course, you have your, uh, how do you call this? Your double Piao. Okay? So, I'll tag this in the card of this video. Don't forget, today only because I got, I'm really stretched because it's a weekend. I have to rush, make it, and then send it to the mail. But I'll do anything for you guys, of course. Have a wonderful day.